All right, I'll keep driving around then. All right. When you're learning how to ride a motorcycle, the only stupid questions are the ones that you don't ask. Asking is the way that we learn how not to make mistakes. There are no dumb questions. The friction zone is the small amount of distance when you start to let go of the clutch. It engages the power to the rear tire and it is a short distance. Eventually, after you get to the end of the friction zone, you will have to engage the throttle in order to keep the bike from stalling out. you haven't done it in a while just got to get used to it again now when you get in that friction zone after you get used to it again I want you to start walking the bike so stay in the friction zone and walk the bike Feel comfortable with the clutch zone again or the friction zone? I feel comfortable. I just I don't remember as obviously memory. Like muscle memory. Yeah. And that that's just repetition. You know, like we I'm did it that one time and then we kind of fell off. Like I'm definitely comfortable to where I'm not scared anymore. But <laughs> this will just I mean that muscle memory, like right now you're kind of like guessing where it is the friction zone but once you actually start riding it's gonna become like second nature you know when you're at a light and it turns green you know exactly where you need to go and when you need to start getting on the throttle in order to get around you know yeah all right so this time i want you to stay in your lane okay, okay that's hard <laughs> you're kind of uneven during the day. It's nice and cool now. It's 
say it? clutch okay so one more walk using the friction zone across and then I'm literally gonna have you walk the bike so I want you to stay in the friction zone and walk it all the way now if it starts going like you feel like it's going too fast just pull it back in start over okay coming up on Friday I want her uh, to be as prepared as possible so we're practicing now uh, she's getting comfortable with the friction zone so right now I just have her walking the bike I do not want to have her start using the throttle yet because I do not have any engine guards and I just got this bike not prepared for a drop so she actually is doing really good Good job. It was really good, right? Pretty easy, right? Okay, so do you think you can turn it around? I can try. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I do it with the bike on real quick. Just pop it into neutral, put the kickstand down, and I'm gonna show you, okay? All right, I wanna show you how I do it. So this time when you go over there, you can actually do it, okay? Right here, I'm trying to teach Sabrina how to let the bike work for her using the friction zone, getting it to move forward and then adjusting back. Um, she was getting used to pushing the bike around forward and backward and I'm trying to make it easier on her and teach her how to start using the friction zone to do those small slow speed maneuvers in order to pretty much save her energy and not have her pushing around a 500 and almost 85 pound bike. with the friction zone, okay? So she actually did really good that first try. So we're gonna get her used to the uh, low speed maneuvers and turning around the bike. No throttle yet, but I want her to get comfortable with one, keeping her bike straight, using that friction zone, because we do use it a lot, before even attempting to throttle. Keep it straight. All right, ready to turn it around? All right, so from here, before even doing it, just explain to me what you're gonna do. Yes. No. 
You can back up at first. Okay. Okay? So go ahead and start doing what you got to do. Because remember, you want to go into that space right there. A little heavy. Felt it go, right? Alright, so now turn the bike around and then you can turn it off. We'll take a break. Turn it around. Which way do you think will be the best way for you? You're good. Alright, so now turn it straight again. Turn it this way. Go forward and then just back it up a little bit. Okay. It's getting too dark to see. Remember at the end of this one, I want you to use the front brake, okay? Towards the end, right? Yep, progressive braking though. You're not gonna grab it. You're just gonna start to squeeze. It's all good, but you see how it works, right? Okay, so now go ahead and turn it around and you don't even have to back it up in the spot. I just want you to turn around, get back in your lane and keep walking it. And what you can even do, I showed you how to turn it at a slow motion maneuver. If what you want to do is you literally just want to let out the friction zone and if you want to turn it a little bit, go that way and then back it up and then you can use the friction zone to start going back that way. You don't have to do it all the way turn like I showed you the first time. Whatever you're comfortable with, but just make sure whatever you're doing, you're comfortable with it, right? Don't be afraid to use that brake if you need to. There you go. Is your hand on the brake or no? No. Okay.
Turn it back around, go back the other way. Throttle. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of you, huh? <laughs> it's a good thing though. That's why we hold the clutch in, right? No matter how much you twist on that, it's not going anywhere. You good? Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of on a downhill. You are. All right, that's what you got the brake for, right? You got it. Careful about squeezing that brake. All right, so at this point, you can turn the wheel, use the friction zone, and get out. Pick your feet up. See how it feels. Stay in the friction zone, but pick your feet up. There you go. Yeah. But you see how easy that is? You literally, all you have to do when you pick your feet up, that's it, you're riding, you're not walking anymore, right? That shit felt, you <laughs> felt like you were riding the bike for the first time, huh? When you picked your feet up? Well, yeah, but when I did it the other time too, I was doing that, but just with my right leg only. Mm -hmm. But that fucking throttle scared the shit Ooh. out of me. I just heard it revving yeah. or doing whatever it was doing. And I was like, I literally just went like this. Yeah. And sometimes that'll happen like when I'm backing the bike up, but I have the clutch pulled in, right? So when people rev their engines when they're at a still, that's because they have the clutch pulled in or they're in neutral. No, you know what happened? Because you know how I was turning it backwards? Mm -hmm. So I was low-key putting my weight and I, I wasn't paying attention. So I was kind of going back instead of pushing it forward. Yeah. So I heard it and I was like, nope, I don't know. <laughs> All right, break time. Keep going, straighten it out. So she's using the friction zone walking the bike, but I told her I was like, you know, get a feel for it, pick your feet up when you're comfortable so that you know what it feels like to actually ride. And she's also just started introducing the front brake as well at the end of the parking lot. And clutch and brake. Good job. She's also been practicing on her low speed maneuvers. It's definitely a big part of the Harley class. So I want to make sure that she is comfortable doing so.
doing good, just make sure when you're thinking about stopping, you don't put your feet down first. Your feet are not gonna stop you. You use the brakes, but I heard when you put your feet down and they were kind of dragging, last thing you want is your foot to get caught 